On April 12, 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin launches from Baikonur aboard Vostok 1. He becomes the first human to make it to space and the first human to make it into orbit. All in all, he was gone for 108 minutes. He made one rotation around the Earth. They must have been quite the ride. The capsule he's in is about six feet wide. There's barely enough room for him to fit in. So he's shut into space in this metal porta potty spends about an hour in orbit, then he has to come back. Unfortunately for him, the Russians don't have a good enough braking system for the pilot to survive landing. So he actually has to eject, that's right, that's actually the plan, at 23,000 feet and go the rest of the way in a parachute. Woo! My name is Sylvain Neuvel and this is Space Race 101. If the Vostok rocket Gagarin flew on looks familiar, it's because you've seen it in our last episode. The rocket that took Sputnik and some dogs into orbit is the very same one Gagarin flew on, except for the very top part. The R-7 was horrible as a nuclear missile. The launch pad for it was enormous and easy to spot, plus you couldn't keep it fueled and on alert because the liquid oxygen inside it would start eating at the seals after about a day. It was, however, the perfect space launch vehicle. So perfect, in fact, the R-7 family of rocket was used for Sputnik, the six Vostok flights, and both the Voskhod and Soyuz program. For almost a decade after the space shuttle stopped flying right up until SpaceX started ferrying astronauts again, the only way to get to space was to fly on a version of the R-7. Over 60 years after the Sputnik launch, R-7s have flown to space over 1800 times. About a month after Gagarin's flight, Alan Shepard became the first American to make it to space when he flew aboard this Mercury Redstone, the same Redstone missile designed by Werner von Braun. This one's not quite to scale with the rest of my models, but it does fly. There's a video on my channel. Check it out. And poor Alan Shepard didn't quite make it into orbit because the Redstone didn't have enough speed. On August 6th of the same year, German Titov spent a whole day in space aboard Vostok 2. He completed 17 orbits. We have to wait until February 1962 to see the first American in space. John Glenn flew aboard this Mercury Atlas and went around the Earth three times. And that is how the Soviets won the space race. Now let's see how long it takes for someone to send a woman in space. We don't have to wait long. In 1963, Valentina Tereshkova rockets through that glass ceiling when she launches from Baikonur aboard Vostok 6. She was cool. That's her with a helmet on. Uh, she wasn't military. She worked in a textile factory. But she was an amateur skydiver. That gave her an edge during selection because, as you know, uh, Vostok astronauts had to eject on the way back. She is still the only woman in history to fly to space solo. And the youngest. She was 26 at the time. Now, this one, the Americans didn't just lose. It took him 20 years to catch up when they sent Sally Ride aboard the space shuttle in 1983. Please pre-order a history of what comes next from your favorite bookstore. In our next episode, we shoot for the moon. Thanks for watching. You're still here. All right, then, let's play Space Critters trivia. First animal in space. Serious bragging rights on the line here. And the answer is fruit flies. In 1947, they sent some fruit flies aboard a US-launched V-2 rocket to study the effects of space radiation. First mammal in space. A monkey, a rhesus monkey named Albert II. Albert died though. He launched on another uh, V-2 uh, built by the US, uh, but the parachute didn't deploy. Sorry, Albert first mammal to make it back from space. <coughs> Two dogs, uh, Desik and Sigan, aboard the Russian launch V2, aka R1. Mm, how about first mammal to make it back from orbit? Now you have a choice. Same rocket, uh, Sputnik 5 in 1960. You have two dogs, uh, Belka and Strelka, uh, about 40 mice, a gray rabbit, Two rats, some fruit flies, and a partridge in a pear tree. See you soon.